My name is Yur Salim Daniel and my position is Library and Documentation Director, Director at Aksum University. So here uh, today afternoon we have discussed some uh, uh, issues with my colleagues or my groups on the topic of inputs from the participants or collecting such inputs about the uh, open access policies from the IT librarian, user staffs and others. Of course, we are in, we are part of it. So I will point out what we have discussed so far. Uh, so if I ignore something, you can help him, my colleagues. So in the first one, we have mentioned state security issues, security issue regarding the uh, uh, some uh, uh, like uh, some uh, researchers might uh, publish their works. So in terms of security, we, we have uh, the the student or the users who are access uh, who are accessing the data shouldn't edit or shouldn't update the uh, already published uh, published on the public. They shouldn't edit or they shouldn't uh, do some modifications over it. So we have to set some security issues over here. Uh, uh, and also uh, some privileges or role-based uh, functions. Uh, we are, there are different users like uh, students, researchers, or professor or instructor in Axiom University and other communities. So there should be a privilege. Who is a researcher or who is going to publish uh, a paper and who is the end user. So there should be some privileges, uh, even though it will help to the student especially uh, 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 for unnecessarily documents or that is not related to them, they might waste their time, so we have to have some privilege on it. Uh, another concept, we have said uh, some plagiarism uh, issues. How to check someone's work can be taken by others. So we have to have a mechanism to check the plagiarism or to avoid such uh, illegal uh, uh, workers. Especially, this is the responsibility of librarians, of course. So, before we are going to public the this or to disclose into the public, we have to check whether this is your own work or uh, someone's work. So, uh, we have to um, have a mechanism to check the plagiarism. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, another one. We have access boundaries. That I think I have said all before, the, it's related to the privilege who is going to access uh, or to upload this one. It should be according to their uh, roles or according to their professions. If you are in user, you have to only access. If you are able to uh, upload it, you have to have the privilege to upload it, but not to edit or modify other works, others work. And another one, filtering mechanism. There should be a filtering mechanism to mean that uh, there might be uploaded some unnecessarily documents, of course. So we have to have the mechanism or we have to filter out which one is important or which one is not important or unnecessarily documents shouldn't be uploaded on the IR or on the uh, open access. This is another policy that we have provided or in another way we can pro uh, we can um, uh, avoid some redundancy or redundancy workers. Uh, another one we have mentioned we have to categorize or we have to classify the, docu uh, the documents that we are going to upload on the open access or IR to mean that uh, there are different documents that can be uh, provided by Axiom University. It can be undergraduate uh, projects, it can be thesis or postgraduate uh, uh, theses or it can be funded researches, it can be editorial status and journals, or it can be teaching and learning materials, and so on. So we have to classify them. Uh, we have to classify them. Uh, we have mentioned this uh, category policy. Uh, another one from the uh, University of Manager or Top Management, what, we, ex what the, we expect if I am a top management or as a manager, uh, we have there should be a motivational incentives uh, to motivational, mot motivational uh, incentives okay. some incentive or to encourage the people who are going to uh, 
to upload the uh, data onto uh, IR onto or on the open access actually. Because if, if you didn't motivate them or if you didn't encourage the people who are going to play with the open access, uh, you might not be, uh, it might not be valuable actually. So to continue our sustainability, you have to encourage your uh, people or your community who are under the Axiom universities. Uh, and also uh, we have mentioned to continue sustainable, uh, sorry, to uh, continuity of training. There should be continuity of training like this with ex uh, external, what you call it, international uh, experts or uh, local experts between the nation or outside of the country, there should be continuity, continuity of training they have to uh, provide. Uh, another one, I think it could be uh, uh, anyone rep responsibility, it might be librarians or IT experts or researchers, whoever, uh, which uh, belongs to the open access uh, uh, policies, there should be awareness creation. We have to, we have to aware our students, our uh, professors, our staffs, and others. They should be aware of, uh, or to tell what is the advantage of using open access uh, or institutional repository instead of going physically to the library. You can, uh, you can open your internet from where you are, so you can access your data uh, easily. This is what we have uh, discussed so far, actually. If I have uh, ignored or have forgot something, you can add from my group. My name is Takla Mikhail. Uh, we have discussed uh, for the question number two. Uh, the question uh, indicates that technical readiness to update uh, another uh, services uh, in Axum University. Uh, here to uh, introduce this NADRA system into our uh, university, we classify uh, uh, the facilities into two, primarily. Uh, uh, what are the facilities that uh, in Axum universities uh, we have? And the second one, second one is the staff readiness of Axum University. Uh, we primarily focus on those two things. In terms of the facility, we have a server, uh, uh, that is the central server. And the second one is the, the presence of uh, network infrastructure. Up to 350 megabytes uh, uh, is available uh, in Axum University. So it is uh, uh, very important to uh, uh, introduce this NADRA system to our university. The other is the presence of Wi-Fi uh, in most of our campus. We have uh, three campus, uh, including uh, the ADWA, the fourth one. So in most of the uh, campus, we we'd have uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, and the other is the uh, computer lab, that is the presence of a smart room is also uh, uh, very important. And the availability of ICT resources such as the laptops, desktops, every uh, instructor is already given uh, different types of facilities such as the laptops and desktops. So this NADRE will be uh, uh, very important for the uh, uh, instructors, the students, and other users uh, because we have the full uh, facilities. In terms of the uh, staff readiness, uh, uh, we have uh, trained uh, manpower, especially with e-learning and uh, video conference. Uh, we have uh, trained uh, uh, ICT uh, uh, trained manpower. And uh, if there is any failure in terms of the connection, hardware or software, we have a technical uh, ICT support. We have uh, technical uh, ICT support and uh, availability of uh, uh, institutional digital uh, repository. Uh, previously, the director has already presented. Uh, we have around 200 articles which are already uh, in our institutional repository. So this is also uh, a good one. The other is the presence of uh, uh, backup recovery backup, I mean, the presence of uh, recovery backup, and the availability of experienced researchers uh, uh, and different types of research outputs. We have many articles uh, uh, which are published in different journals, and some of them, up to 200 articles, are already in the uh, digital institutional repository. And 
uh, there are different types of researches that are not yet published. And beyond this, we'd have experienced uh, researchers. We'd have doctors, we'd have young researchers, MSc holders, and just are the staff readiness of uh, our university. And what is the need? What our universities need to employ this NADRA system? The first one is uh, disaster recovery backup. We need this one. And the other is uh, training for users, maybe for uh, instructors for students or for other users, uh, uh, it needs uh, some training. Continuous training is uh, required. Uh, else, strong and full coverage internet access and virtual private network is also necessary uh, to employ this NADRA system to, uh, into our university. Uh, the other is we need power backup. Maybe the solar system, maybe the solar system. If there is failure uh, in power, we need this power backup. And again, we need budget for, for different purposes. So these are uh, the needs that our university uh, requires to employ this NADRA uh, system. And this is what we have discussed in our group. If any question, maybe Thank our group. My name is Alam Garmadir. This comes from the Aksum University employee in the ICT. Uh, our discussion is uh, the role of University Ethernet and the MO in the NADRA. The sponsor of the knowledge of the mankind of maintaining and securing of knowledge for the present and future generations. The second one is the generation of new knowledges to undertake the activities that call the research. And then the transfer of knowledge to the next generation, and also transfer of knowledge to the societies of the <coughs> the generating of the economic uh, development. The another one is the roles of the in the Ethernet in the NADRA. Ethernet oh, helps. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Most common that forms in the new of network cables that on the wire network. And also connected devices within the LAN like PC routers and switches. In the uh, MOE, Minister of Education, that draws up strategies and policies that plan for the educational reforms and developments to take charge for of the overall the planning coordination and management of all forms education varies of in the level to provide guidna, guidance for the supervision over the educational wide organized and direct in the inception of the evaluation of the implement the implementation and also to provide of the guidance for the development and reform of employment oriented vocational Educationist. If I have any. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.